And they get the job done in Orlando again, defeating the Milwaukee Bucks by three. Michael Grady, Jim Spinarco. Jim, same reaction at halftime. Yeah. What is? What, <laughs> what on earth? How'd they get it done? It was interesting that last play, though, when you think about it. You know, first thing that goes through my mind, you're you're up three. Do you foul, right? Do you did you use the three uh, foul strategy? So they, they opt not to do that. And if you'd noticed that the most difficult passes were the ones that were going to the three-point line, the easier pass came to about 17 feet away, and that took three seconds off the clock. And then they had to go back out and make a difficult pass. So the Nets really surrounded the three-point line. If you want to score two points in that situation, go right ahead. They played it very, very well and very tightly around the three-point arc. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you play the games. Yeah. I know a lot of folks had an opinion in their mind when they, we learned that Karis LeVert, Joe, and Jerry weren't going to play but these guys are also NBA players yep. they're going out there to compete and to play to win which is what they were able to do this yep. afternoon not only that just to add to that too is also to make sure that the Nets organization is watching each and every player right because I want to prove to you that I can play that I deserve minutes from the coaching staff and I thought that the, one of the keys was at the six minute mark in that fourth quarter the Bucks won on a 12 to 2 run and all of a sudden that momentum just totally shifted in their favor and you're saying uh-oh this could go the other way against the Nets they really rebounded well they grouped together made individual plays team plays at both ends of the floor nice win real good solid win for them even though everybody was decimated with guys <laughs> sitting on the bench